good morning grade three students today we are going to do with lesson three how do simple machines affect work in the previous lesson we have learned what is force what is speed what is relative position what is friction what is gravity what is magnetism hope you all remember everything before you start the lesson just give a review of your vocabulary words of the previous lessons Let us start with today's lesson. Work. Work is done when a force moves an object. Have you done any work today? Your work is done when you use a force to move an object. For example, you do work when you move a shopping cart because you're pushing the shopping cart. Pushing is a force and your force can move the shopping cart. Rake leaves in your backyard is also a work because you're pushing the leaves with rake. Carrying out the trash is also a work because you're using a force to move the trash. Some work can be fun too. For example, when you pedal a bike, you're pushing the pedals and the bike moves. This is a work. Or kicking a soccer ball is also a work because when you kick a soccer ball, you're pushing the soccer ball and the soccer ball is moving. So it is a work. The amount of work you do depends on how far you move an object and the mass of the object you move. For example, if you drive your bike for a long distance, then your work is more. But if you drive your bike for a short distance, then your work is less. Work is not done when the position of an object does not change. Imagine you're pushing the wall. The wall cannot move, so the work is not done. Another example when two boys pushing each other with the same force, both the boys cannot move. So work is not done here. How much work can you do in one day? To answer this, you would need to add up the amount of pushing and pulling you do. Or you would also need to measure the distance those pushes and pulls move things. And you must measure the mass of the objects you moved. So you need to know the amount of force, amount of distance, an amount of the mass of an object. To know how much work did you do, you must measure the mass of the object you move. If you see this slide, the first picture shows the girl is putting the book back on its shelf. The second picture shows the girl is putting three books back on its shelf. Guess which picture shows more work? Yes, the second pic. Because in the first picture, she's carrying only one book, it is less mass. But in the second picture, she's carrying three books, more mass than the first picture. So you must measure the mass of the object you move so that you can know how much work did you do. To know how much work did you do, you must also measure the distance you move things. In this slide, if you see the first picture, this woman is putting the book on a shelf. But in the second pic, this woman is putting the book on a shelf that is twice as high than the first picture. So the second picture shows more work than the first picture. The amount of work you do depends on the mass of the object you move. For example, if you push one book on the table, then the work is less. But if you push 10 books on the table, then the work is more. So the amount of work you do depends on how far you move an object and how much mass of the object you move. Now let's look at the table. Here you have some activity. And let's see it is a work. The work is done or the work is not done. Thinking about a math problem. When you think about a math problem using your brain, you're not using any force and you're not moving any object. So this is a work? No, this is not a work. Turning a jump rope. 
When you turn a jump rope, you're using a force to move the rope, and the rope is moving. So here it is a work. Holding a puppy. Yes, you're using a force to hold the puppy in your hand. But the puppy is moving in your hand? No. So this is not a work. Lifting a puppy. You're lifting a puppy from the ground to your hand. You're pushing the uh, uh, you're pulling the puppy in your hand. So the puppy is moving from the ground to your hand. So this is a work. Yes. Pulling on a locked door. The door is already locked and you're trying to pull the locked door. The door cannot open because the door is locked. So here the door cannot move. So this is not a work. Opening an unlocked door is also a work because you're pulling the door and the door will move because it's unlocked. So it is work. Trying to scoop rock hard ice cream. When the ice cream is freezed, you're trying to take the ice cream in a scoop. So here the ice cream cannot move because it's so hard. So this cannot be a work. The work is not done. Review. What is work? Work is when you use a force to move an object. You push or pull and the object is moving, then it is a work. But sometimes work cannot be done when an object does not move. If you give a force and the object cannot move, then the work is not done. The amount of work we do, it depends on the depends on how far we move an object and the mass of the object we move. For example, if you move an object in a shorter distance, then the work is less. But if you move an object to a far distance, then the work is more. If you move a less mass of an object, then the work is less. If you move an object with high mass, then the work is more. Thank you.